Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. Kind of wanted to do a little bit different type of video. I uh, wanted to talk about SIN stocks. This was brought up in a prior video, uh, my stock picking video. A user suggested I take a look at Philip Morris, uh, a tobacco company, and kind of brought up the idea, you know, do I really want to invest in uh, a tobacco company, sort of a SIN stock company? Uh, so just very briefly, what is a a SIN stock. Well, a SIN stock is essentially a stock of a company that's either directly or maybe indirectly involved in sort of a taboo uh, industry or uh, an activity considered to be unethical or immoral by some folks. Uh, very broadly, sort of like gambling, alcohol, uh, tobacco. I kind of want to have a little bit of fun with this. I'm going to break this down into sort of uh, investing in the seven deadly sins. So to start off here, gluttony, uh, we can start off with tobacco products. So Philip Morris, uh, as you can see here, is a company invested in the manufacturing and sale of cigarettes, other tobacco products in the U.S. You can see it's got a great dividend yield, 4.3%, very large market cap, $149 billion. Uh, another similar stock would be the Altria Group. Again, another company involved in uh, the production, marketing of tobacco products. Another awesome dividend yield there, 3.95%. Another very large market cap company, 121 billion. So these are, you know, sin stocks, but they're very solid investments as well. Reynolds America, another uh, tobacco uh, producing company, at least as far as selling cigarettes anyway. Another great dividend yield, 3.9%. A little bit smaller market cap, but still it's pretty large at 67 billion. Along with tobacco, uh, 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 companies in the U.S. Here's a kind of a British American uh, tobacco company as well. Cigarettes, smokeless tobacco, scar, cigars, pipe tobacco. 2.2 percent dividend yield. Again, a very large market cap, 113 billion dollars. Along with tobacco, we have alcohol. So everybody knows Anheuser Busch. They've recently become one of the uh, actually the largest uh, brewer in the world. Uh, kind of. Uh, uh, bought out some of their rivals. A great dividend yield, 3.61%, and an enormous market cap, $205 billion. So a very solid stock. Uh, Diageo, I think that's how you pronounce that. Again, alcoholic beverages. Uh, good dividend yield, 3.4%. A little bit smaller market cap, but still fairly large at $70 billion. Uh, Molson Coors Brewing Company. You know, not a great dividend yield, 1.4, but you know, somewhat large market cap, $23 billion got a great PE ratio uh, so these are very good companies as well here's constellation brands uh, kind of beer wine spirits not a great dividend yield uh, a little bit smaller market cap but still large at 33 billion good PE ratio and then along with uh, the drinking we have sort of the gambling uh, side of uh, gluttony if you will uh, wind resorts here Las Vegas resorts uh, okay dividend yield 2% and these are a little bit smaller market cap, only 9.8 billion here, but still that's you know fairly large. Las Vegas Sands Corporation, uh, much better dividend yield, 4.8 percent, a little bit larger market cap at 46 billion. Uh, MGM as well, again casinos, resorts, hotel gambling, no dividend yield, uh, which I probably wouldn't uh, consider uh, adding this to my portfolio. I only consider dividend yielding stocks. Uh, 14. 0.9 billion market cap. Then uh, moving on to the second uh, category here. So we just got done with gluttony, sloth, kind of threw some stocks in here. Comcast, kind of sitting at home, entertainment, uh, internet provider, cable television. 1.6% dividend yield, very large market cap, 157 billion. For the vanity or pride sin, uh, Estee Lauder. Uh, basically, fragrant, fragrance, makeup, skincare products. Uh, okay, dividend yield 1.3, 32, uh, 32.3 billion market cap. Could get that out there. Uh, very good company. Uh, for Envy, uh, Tiffany and Company, uh, essentially a holding company. Uh, uh, as you know, Tiffany has timepieces, leather goods. You can see on the bottom there, Crystal, China. Okay, dividend yield 2.4%. Okay, a market cap 9.1 billion, good PE ratio at 21. Along with Tiffany Ferrari, uh, essentially Italian car maker, 
We all know about Ferrari. 10.1 billion market cap. Kind of surprising. I thought this was a much smaller company. Uh, no dividend yield. Uh, moving on into greed, we have Goldman Sachs here. A uh, very large financial uh, institution. 1.5 dividend yield for this particular company. 69 uh, 0.05 billion market cap. It's got an okay uh, PE ratio. Along with Goldman Sachs, actually, along with Goldman Sachs, uh, we have Wells Fargo. I didn't throw that in here. I actually own this stock um, with their uh, greed and opening accounts on users without their uh, knowledge. <clears throat> uh, moving into kind of lust, we have uh, Church and Dwight. Not a lot of folks know what uh, Church and Dwight is involved in, but essentially maker of. Uh, uh, condoms here you can see on the bottom here um, some other uh, products as well okay dividend yield 3.02 percent okay market uh, cap as well 12.07 billion and then moving on into a uh, sort of the last category here wrath uh, strum ruger and company this is essentially a company uh, that deals with firearms uh, manufacturing of fire firearms uh, pistols rifles revolvers okay dividend yield 3.4 percent 1.06 billion market cap. So, yeah, that kind of rounds out uh, the uh, the uh, seven deadly sins in investing here: the gluttony, the sloth, vanity, envy, greed, lust, and wrath. Uh, so, yeah, just kind of wanted to do a, a, a kind of a fun video here, going through some of the uh, the sin stocks and some of the opportunities. Some good companies actually that uh, would be good additions to uh, portfolio again I don't know if I'm going to be adding any of these companies just from a pure ethical standpoint uh, some of the alcoholic uh, companies like Anheuser-Busch I may add but definitely don't want to do anything with tobacco Philip Morris and Altria and gambling not really interested in those stocks either so just kind of a fun little video here uh, talking about some of the sin stocks so again, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like it, go ahead and subscribe, leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends, uh, leave a couple comments, and we'll see you next video.